Now, this is the final product of painting. It gives you not hours of repainting and drying, painting over. As you can see, you got a shell painting pretty nicely. Now, today I'm going to show you how to sculpt Dry Bowser's skull around his head. So, like I stated before, this is the clay I bought. Pretty good deal. I got it at Walmart. Got the skull done, or a rough draft of it. See, I use my finger to shape the eye sockets. There, and there. So, there we go. So yeah, this is just a rough draft of what his skull is going to look like. Had to use a match to get to the hard to reach places, but I have to say it looks pretty good. Now, see, this will be the neck bone once I um, sculpt it, but oh no, not a bad prototype for a skull. No, 
before we before I sign out. There. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> there was something. Let's add a little more clay to the top. It's that way. There. There we go. Something like that. Make a little indention for a skull. Now in the next video, we're going to focus on the tail and the legs. So I hope this was helpful. So by the time you next see this guy, his hair is going to be on his head. It's going to be secured. So, as always, thanks for watching.